so far, chicken chicks are very easy to take care of. Um, you, do, <laughs> you do want to, um, you know, change their food, change their water, change their bedding. Um, but other than that, they really are really easy. I would say they're probably even easier than cats and dogs. Um, you do need a sort of heat source. I have those two brooders. They're all known as heat plates. They are safer than, um, than heat, the heat lights. I didn't want to get those because I heard a lot of people they cause fires. And those have been working fine. I got 17 chickens. So I got two. Um, but yes, they are very easy to take care of. Um, you know, they. I come and check on them probably like three times a day. And when I'm working, I check on them twice a day. Um, and just to check their water, I'm gonna change their water and their food. Um, <laughs> that's a little kitty. They're very curious too, so. Um, do you wanna spend some time with them? I do, when I do come out, I probably, I'm out here with them like for about two hours so that they wait, that way they can recognize me. They recognize my voice. As you can see, some of them are very, when they hear me and I'm here, they come and they come to me, they come close to me. Some are still very skittish and flighty, um, so, but that's just the personality of the bird. Um, whatever their personality is, is what you're gonna get. Even though I got some birds that um, they describe them as friendly and um, but um, the type of breed that I got, some are friendly, but like my um, olive eggers, the black ones, well, I only have three olive eggers, um, but those, and I have a wine dot and a Dominic, and um, and those are friendly birds, but the majority of them are very flighty, um, and they don't like me getting them. So that it just, it depends on the breed also, but it also depends on the personality of the bird. Only because it says it's friendly, it doesn't mean that it's gonna, you know, like being held or touched. Um, friendly meaning it's gonna be friendly to you and wanna chase you around, but it all depends on the personality of the bird. Um, but um, again, they're very easy to take care of. I would say easier than cats and dogs. Um, and it can get, it can't get any easier than that. Um, that's Sweet Pea, that's one of my favorites. Um, so if you are getting chicks, or if you're debating on getting chicks, go for it. Um, it's, you know, would it pay for itself on eggs? Probably not. You know, because you do have to buy feed, you do have to buy bedding and all that. But it's totally worth it. And at least you know where it's coming from. And you know, and you know you're going to get fresh eggs. Um, better eggs for you. Um, healthier eggs. And for me, that's well worth it. Um, if it's anything healthier for my family, then that is 100% worth it for me. Even though a bit the cost will probably be more, but I'm all for that. Um, so if you're starting with homesteading and you want animals, I am new to this too. I am learning. This is my first time getting chicks. Um, and I will say just go for it. Um, I'm learning here with you and if you want to learn with me, um, come follow my journey on um, this homesteading and we can do it together but um if you are thinking of getting chicks go for it get them they're simple and yes they are messy but you know i love coming in here and cleaning cleaning their pen the area it's just you know when i look at them i forget about what's going on in the world um they bring me joy um and i'm happy and you know, if I have a stressful day at work, I just come out here and I look at them and, um, and I forget everything because um, they're such characters. So, um, 
every little one has a different personality and I love that. Um, but thanks for watching. Bye.